Hello. I'm repeating the the test again with the Slayer Exciter. Uh, this time, the there is this white wire coming here. Uh, it is not connected to the earth ground where that uh, black alligator clip is connected. Where this black alligator clip is connected in here is the earth ground and this white wire coming here come here is connected to the negative rail of the Slayer Exciter. Now it is not connected and I have uh, a plasma on the coil connected to the earth ground. On the bottom of the coil I placed uh, a Tesla by filer coil and this Tesla by filer is connected to those two uh, one watt uh, LEDs, high power LEDs. They are ultra bright. They are ultra bright. They really light up things. And uh, that uh, I have another two one watt LEDs in here. They are connected. Uh, they are connected to the radiant collector, and the antenna is coming to here. So uh, this is the the circuit without the earth ground connection going into this layer exciter on the on the big coil this one is connected to the negative rail on the top of it I have an AV plug with a few LEDs in series and I will disconnect the circuit now I mean turn it off and connect the circuit uh, this wire connected to the same earth ground so this is the circuit without connecting the earth ground to this layer exciter the earth ground is connected just with this coil with the plasma burst and on the bottom of the coil there is a tesla by filer and going to that two uh, one watt LEDs in series. I'll turn it off now and connect the negative rail of the circuit to the same earth ground that is connecting this coil. The circuit is turned it off. Let me connect this wire in here just take a second maybe more than a second okay now the negative rail is connected to the same earth ground of this central coil and I will turn the circuit on as you can see the plasma is much stronger now Um, the LEDs uh, connected to the radiant energy collector are with the same kind of brightness. Uh, the fluoro on the top here is also on the same type of brightness. 
and the difference is that these two uh, one watt LEDs they are really bright they are really bright so connecting the Slayer Exciter the negative rail of the Slayer Exciter to the earth ground where this uh, let's call this the L4 is connected uh, gives me a much higher uh, output on the plasma burst on the top and also on this uh, bifiler Tesla coil where is connected those LEDs on this setup uh, sharing the same earth ground back in there the L3 coil uh, the L4 they are both sharing the negative rail of the Slayer Exciter but the difference is this Tesla by Filer on the bottom this gives me a great output in here I try to measure uh, the voltage in here on AC my meter uh, was about 16 to 17 volts AC and then I've connected a full wave bridge rec rectifier uh, to this by filer coil and my meter uh, went up to 600 and 700 volts DC I don't know maybe maybe no this is not right and I cannot measure the voltage uh, taking up this by filer coil here if I connect a bridge rectifier a full wave in here I don't know how much voltage I get in uh, DC but these two LEDs uh, they are 1 watt LEDs and they are in full, full brightness each of them is 1 watt 3.4 to 3.6 volts and they are 2 in series I don't know if I can show that that there is indeed 2 LEDs uh, let me show a few of them they are this kind of LEDs uh, 1 watt LEDs and there are two of them in there I don't know if I can show this on the camera no, it's, they are too, too bright So this is it. Uh, just a, a another thing. Without connecting the circuit to earth ground, I have uh, a good output and plasma burst in here. And uh, when connecting the earth ground to the circuit sharing the same earth ground from L4 the output of the by filer Tesla coil it's much higher and the plasma burst it's much stronger too Thanks for watching.